You're watching TVC News at 7. The rapid spread of coronavirus in the north is raising serious concerns across the region. Experts are warning that the region is more vulnerable because of its socio-cultural disposition. In the special report, correspondent Lanwea DME reviews the preparedness of governments in the 19 states of the north to curb the spread of this killer disease. Bayelsa entered the statistics on Sunday night when the Nigeria Center for Disease Control confirmed 91 new cases of the coronavirus in the country. We give the right publicity. Governor Doye Diri. It is a problem that has been contained in faraway China and to some extent in Lagos. But the coronavirus is spreading fast across other parts of Nigeria. When the mighty cry, the weak should be very concerned. Should this prove to be only the tip of the iceberg, that means we are in quite serious trouble. Regardless of its economic and technological might, the United States of America has lost more than 50,000 of its people to the coronavirus. The possibility of this same thing, or worse, occurring in Nigeria is giving experts sleepless nights. They are particularly worried about the lack of preparedness in northern states to deal with this viral outbreak. Our people can be careless, our people can be nonchalant. But we cannot joke with this pandemic. From the day it started to six months, that is around July, August, Nigeria will register about 4 million cases with about 50,000 deaths. At the beginning of April, Lagos State alone had put in place infrastructure to care for 800 infected people. This is far more than what the entire 19 states of the northern region had at that time. Without a single testing facility, samples had to be taken from far-flung states like Sokoto and Bronu to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control Laboratory in Abuja. With coronavirus infections on the rise in the northern region, the NCDC had to establish testing facilities in Kano, Kaduna, Plato and Bronu states, all in April. Compared with the South, which already had five facilities, the North was playing catch-up. I have the belief personally that because of poor level of testing, we may have more than what we have recorded anywhere else in Nigeria. The responses were initially slow, but now it's a race against the clock. And states like Kano, Bronu and Gombe may have started precautionary measures well beyond time, it is the number of positive cases coming out of them that are taken into consideration. The 19 northern states have begun returning destitutes to their homes, hoping to clean up the streets and protect the most vulnerable. The Governor's Forum of the 19 northern states have agreed that each Almajiri should be returned to his home base so that they can manage them appropriately there. Now with the advent of the COVID-19 outbreak, all right, in the last uh, three days, we have been receiving, uh, I mean, Almajiri kids from uh, across the state, I mean, the country. We have more than 1,000 kids that have been returned back from uh, other states. Different state governments are imposing varying degrees of regulations and restrictions. Kaduna, Kano, and Bronu impose the total lockdown and curfew. But Sokoto, Kebi, and Zamfara have not seen the need for such measures. Others like Bauchi, Gombe, and Jigawa all have regulations that could at best be described as feeble. The cessation of human and vehicular movement and total lockdown of our local government area shall continue. Inflows into Meduguri is about 781, right? And yesterday, I was at the border of the 10 o'clock. We have now we have 576 people. The security agencies enforce or carry out their tasks without compromise. That's why in the directive given to them, it was clearly stated that there should be no compromise or 
exemption of any kind. There is a frantic race to establish isolation and treatment centers across the north. The coronavirus pandemic is bound to take its toll, but after the dust settles, lessons must be learned. Leaders of the north must invest in developing human capacity and critical infrastructure. Another event that will put the region to test is bound to happen. Thousands of these destitute children, popularly called Amajeres, are being returned to their states of origin across the United States of the northern region. The challenge now is, many of these children have left home for several years. Do they have a family to return to? And would society really care for them? Are we solving a problem or are we transferring it for another day? Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe.